At one point as a creator or filmmaker, someone has asked you, what camera are you using? As if no other gear plays a greater importance in the quality of your work. The truth is, your camera captures nothing without light. And with the GVM Pro SD200B, you might start to hear more of, what light are you using? Let's just get the elephant in the room out of the way. Cheap gear usually means cheap quality. The lower the price, the higher the chances you'll be clicking this button. But with how expensive film gear is, can you blame us for taking that gamble? Two years ago, I bought a motorized slider from GVM because it was the cheapest one that looked the most reliable. Now, I'd never heard of the company before, so I was expecting it to break within a year. But to my surprise, it's been holding up quite nicely without any major hiccups. And that's when it solidified my belief that the truest way to win a customer's trust is to just make reliable gear. But how reliable is the SD200B? Now, GVM sent me this light to review, but they didn't pay me to do it, and they also didn't watch this video before I uploaded it, so I'm gonna be as ruthless as necessary while I share my experience in using this light. My first impression after unboxing it was how sleek and sturdy this hunk of aluminum looked. It's like the shiny red sports car I always wanted, but just a bit smaller, and it doesn't drive. As for how bright it gets, this thing is as powerful as the sun at full blast. And I don't see myself throwing at 100% unless I'm not getting enough vitamin D. I primarily shoot in small spaces, so I tend to hover around 1-10% to intensity. Uh, it really depends on what light modifier I'm using, which, by the way, this light uses a standard Bowens mount. But something I'm really impressed with is how I can adjust the brightness to the decimal, meaning I can pinpoint the exact brightness I need. For this interview setup, I'm using their 24-inch quick-release softbox, and the light is set to 0.4%. For comparison, here's with the light turned off. Now, GVM has an app, even though the rating suggests that it shouldn't. I tried it out anyways, and surprise, surprise, it works great. It has a simple, straightforward UI that lets me adjust every setting I'd be able to on the back of the light. Their light source matching feature is another pleasant surprise, which lets you match 12 different types of light sources. Now, if you live somewhere with a muggy, overcast weather like I do, then you can get consistent lighting with the press of a button. Just like most LED lights, the SD200B includes special effects, and you have 12 to choose from for your narrative needs. Now this light also has intelligent cooling technology, which helps it from overheating. But if you film a lot of talking headshots like I do, you might be wondering how loud the fans can get. There's three fan modes to choose from. This is on smart mode at 50% brightness. When I'm getting any piece of gear, I always want to make sure that it can work in more than one situation. So, I put the SD200B in a few different genres of filmmaking to see how viable it is in your kit. Here we have another talking head setup, again with their quick release softbox attached, and we're set to 8% intensity at 5600 Kelvin. Now, I think we can all agree that soft lighting always looks pretty, but I wanted to test the light out in more dramatic styles that call for harder edges and stylized textures. So to switch things up, I attached a snoot to the light and placed in a gobo so just a strip of light hits the product. Add a milk crate in front of another light and you get something like this. While I was playing around with the light, I thought, why not get a little experimental? 
I managed to pop it on that motorized slider that I talked about earlier. Once I aimed it at some crumpled up miler and threw a breeze at it, the light created some pretty interesting textures on me while I was looking at my stock portfolio for the year. For another cinematic setup, I threw the snoot back on to look as if there's this overhead lamp that's just off camera. Now, the SD200B has proven to be way more impressive than I thought, but every rose has its thorns, and these are the ones that I noticed after playing around with it. Now, for a light that's angled towards content creators, I would have expected this light to be smaller and lighter. It's the same dimension and weight as the 300 watt version, and although I appreciate how rugged the light feels, I was expecting something a bit more nimble. Because it's on the heavy side, I understand why there are fasteners on both sides of the light just to keep things secure, but for a 200 watt light, I would have expected one fastener just to keep things a little faster on set. I was also expecting a metal wire to hang the power supply like my MRN 200X, but instead we get a strap which is more secure but a little less convenient to use. The only other light I own that directly competes with the SD200B is my Amaran 200X, and I immediately noticed the color temperature difference when I did a side-by-side -side test. Now this color temperature discrepancy is pretty common amongst LED lights, but I did feel like the SD200B was a tad brighter despite both lights being at 8%. Now, if you want to compare the nitty gritty specs with other lights that are within the same tier, then check out this link. This is the second GVM gear that I own, and with film equipment being so expensive, the reason to consider the SD200B is as clear as day. It's affordable, but it has all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a 200 watt LED light while still feeling like a professional quality studio light. If you're primarily a content creator who vlogs and shoots run and gun, then the SD200B may not be agile enough for you. But if you're looking for something in between a cheap LED light and studio lights with higher wattage, then I think this is the perfect in-between. In a marketplace where cutting costs often means cutting quality, this light is a pretty rare gem. With the SD200B lighting up your scenes, don't be surprised if you start hearing, what light are you using?